Well, I'm out here today in the river, and I haven't even turned my detector on yet. And I just eyeballed this. Check it out. You see that down there? Looks like a waterproof camera. It's blue. Look at that. Lumix. I guess that's how you say it. Let's turn it on. See if it works. Maybe it's this button. Look at that. Still works. Wow. We're going to have to check the SD card and see what we have. Look, we got a bunch of pictures on here. Some kids, a family. This is unreal. Just eyeballed it. I mean, I hadn't even got my detector out yet. Did not expect to find a camera. First find of the day. It's unreal. We're going to head on down river and see if we can find a lost wedding band that my friend Joe lost about two weeks ago. I've already searched for about seven hours and I couldn't find it. So this is my second trip back to this site and I'm hoping today will be the day I swing over it. So let's get to work. Got all my gear on the tube. As you can tell I rigged my boogie board up on there and have everything strapped on pretty well. Broke my AT Pro today with a small coil just so we can get in between all the bedrock cracks and the different pockets in the river. We have a lot of ground to cover. The ring was lost somewhere on a two mile section of this river. And I don't know exactly where to start looking so we're just gonna grid search our way down. I just got a pretty decent signal down here and we're showing up in the 60s. I look down with my goggles and I've seen this. I've already picked it up, but take a look at it. So guess what it says inside of this ring? It began with a dance. That's funny. It's a wedding ring. Awesome. Can't believe I found it. Just laying right on top. Hasn't been there long. Maybe a few weeks. This is unbelievable. Just got another signal down here. It was showing up as an 86. And I dug down and found this. It's another ring. Looks to be silver. Has a design on it. It may be gold. No, it's silver, I think. It's tarnished. It's been there a while. Let's get us some more. Looks like Superman lost his ring out here. <laughs> it's funny. Gave a weird signal. I guess it's stainless steel. Wouldn't think it'd be silver. Either way, that's the third ring I found today, and I've only been out here about an hour. Crazy. I'm going to keep on swinging, and maybe we'll find Joe's ring. Well, I've been searching for about three hours now, and I just found a really cool pair of shades right on top of the ground here. Can't believe it. Check them out. I've already picked them up. Those were expensive. Not sure what brand that is. You see a design on the side there. I wonder if these are the shades the guy was telling me about last time I came here. It was a week ago, and he said he lost a pair of shades with uh, green lenses. These are greenish, so could be his. I don't know. Hey, it's nice though. Let's put them on and see how they look. They're awful dark. I can barely see anything out of them. Probably from all the algae. They've been in the river at least a week. Let's keep on going and see if we can find anything else. Well, I think we have a knife down here. Looks like a buck knife. Let's see what it is. Yeah, it's a pocket knife. It's been there a while too. 
I can clean this one up and still use it. Got the blade and all. Sweet. Same area I've been searching for the last three or four hours now. I'm finding all kinds of stuff in here. There should be a green Spyderco knife in here somewhere. Last week when I was down here, a guy came by and he told me he lost his knife. About a year ago. I don't know if it'd still work, but if I find it, I'll try to return it to him. We got another pair of shades down here. decent signal down here and it's in about waist deep water showing up in the mid 80s and I can see it I'm pretty sure it's an iPhone see it right down there 88 90 let me put my goggles on and we'll dive down and take a look at it It's still on, man. This hasn't been lost very long in a passcode. I don't know their passcode, so I probably won't be able to get in it. This is the big one. I guess the 6 Plus. Wow. It's crazy. You might need to dive around in this hole. i got my snorkel over there in my backpack and see if we can find anything else. Oh, it's getting towards the end of the day. About 5.30. I'm still out here digging. Just found another ring too. Right here. It's an older one. Been there a while because it's done turned brown. It's pretty cool. Still not the one I'm looking for. Fourth ring of the day. I cannot believe this. I just dug a ring right there. Walked two feet. Got another signal showing up like a 52. I dug down, and guess what we have? It's another ring. Wow. <laughs> I think it's stainless. Or maybe uh, titanium. I don't know. Looks like stainless. Fifth ring of the day. That little brass one was just right there. Well, it looks like it's about 718 now. Monday the 18th. That's wrong. Just found this watch. Nothing special. I don't believe. It says it's water resistant, but water still leaked in there. It's probably been in the river a long time. I'll tell you what, I'm just finding everything that you could possibly find in one day. Well, it's time to head downstream some. I've searched really well around these rapids right here. Didn't find the ring. So we're going to keep on moving along. 7 o'clock now, but we got about two hours till dark. And we're going to see if we can find this ring. It's probably a quarter. Let's see if we can find it. Right there. There it is. Yep, been there a while. Uh, not sure the year on it. It's really corroded. Nothing beats floating down the river at 8 o'clock at night. I have a good mile and a half paddle back to the truck. 
I'll float most of the way though. It's been a great day. I didn't find Joe's ring, but I found all kinds of other stuff. I did not expect to find that much at this place. Water's pretty shallow right here. You see anything? Maybe we'll eyeball the ring on the way back down. got a little bit dark on me in the river yesterday. I got out at about 9.15 and loaded all my gear up and headed straight back to the house. So I'm finally getting around to filming my finds. I have everything laid out from yesterday's hunt on the table here and also have last week's finds when I went out to search for the ring for my very first time. I have maybe 15 hours worth of detecting in this river and I have not found Joe's ring yet, but I found everybody else's stuff. So it's got to be out there somewhere. Maybe next time we'll find it. Let's take a look at my finds. Here's all the stuff I found last week. Bunch of clad. Have about $4.28 here, I believe. I did find this cool makeup compact from Las Vegas. Looks kind of like a pocket watch, don't it? Has different little compartments in here. It's kind of neat. Gave a really good signal. Uh, car keys, house keys. This is a Keen Cutter pocket knife from 1969. You can see right here it says 1869 to 1969. That's pretty sweet. A pair of sunglasses. These glasses here had a really harsh life. No telling how long they've been rolling around in the river. And here's all my finds from yesterday. I don't have the iPhone here, and that's because right after the hunt, the next morning, I took it to Verizon because that was their carrier, and I asked them if they could unlock the passcode on the phone so I could return it to the owner. And they told me they would, so they did it for me, and I uh, got it mailed back to the, the owner. So that's awesome. I'm glad they did that for me. The owner should be getting their phone in the mail in the next day or so, and hopefully they'll find out about this video because I left them a little note saying I found it in the river and how I make YouTube videos of the stuff I find. It's always good to return something if you can. There's no point in keeping it if you can figure out who the owner is. Here's the camera. I have not figured out who lost this yet. I looked through all the pictures. Um, there's a few of a family at church, but there's no um, signs or anything indicating what church it is or where it's at. So I'm not sure how to figure out who owns it. But I do know the last picture taken was on July 11th, 2015. So it's a year old. It's a good camera. Still works. Found these shades. Not sure what brand that is. Haven't even looked it up yet. Been so busy. But these were probably at least $100. They look nice. Some more down here. These have been there a while. Found another broken piece to a cell phone. Not sure what this thing is. It is weird. Has a barcode on the back, so somebody purchased it. Got a watch, pocket knife. I don't think it's a buck knife, though. Could be, but most of them are brass. Uh, car key. Let's get to the rings. 
this one is 14 karat gold and on the inside it says it began with a dance it's a wedding ring but it's not the one Joe lost his has the date of when they got married which is August 22nd 2015 almost a year ago this is still a really great find I uh, also have a sterling silver ring I believe it's sterling tarnished black so it probably is silver it's got some weight to it so that's a neat find it's got a little vine design all the way around it there there's Superman's ring and a big finger and some other rings there also found about maybe five to six dollars here I haven't counted it but I have a lot of quarters a couple new pennies that haven't been lost very long this one's 2016 here's all my trash over here just from yesterday's hunt <laughs> a lot of aluminum I didn't dig any iron so I hope y'all enjoyed it thank you for watching and God bless.